Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. Today we are going to take a look at the Tangle to Sew. And I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And this comes to us from CZT Tomas Padros. And he has some wonderful, wonderful work. And uh, and this is a beautiful tangle. Um, being a non-artist, so I will be completely upfront, I find this to be a bit challenging and uh, I just did a couple couple uh, Zentangle sessions on this online and and you know that that seemed to be kind of the consensus is it, it's a it's a handful of a tangle and one of the things is that there are a lot of options with it so you can start off with a number of different shapes and um, but I you know I decided for this I'm gonna do we're just gonna do one shape and that's gonna be a square and so I thought well I'm gonna do this big so that way um, just my aim in these tangles, actually in all of my Zentangle life here, is um, because I'm an I'm not I don't consider myself an artist, um, but I conquered art class, and so I'm drawing just a big square in the center of this tile, and um, while I'm shading, coloring this in, we're chatting. But so when I, after my mom introduced me to Zentangle, I really felt like I conquered art class from like high school and I didn't realize that it was an issue. And I don't know that it was like an issue, but it was, just, I just had this weird sensation. It's like, yes, I've conquered art class. Not even realizing again that it was, you know, it wasn't even necessarily in my mind most days, but at the same time, it was kind of one of those things that I kind of felt a failure at and um, so it, it was it was just a neat experience so my aim is to share that um, with you know my fellow non-artists out there and you know just to kind of help you know if you can have a similar experience where you too can conquer art class then I would love to be a part of that all right, so I'm doing this bigger, but I, and I did that square bigger, but I think I'm going to, let me go to my micro, my, let me just make sure that this is working. I was having some pen issues a little earlier. Okay, I think this will work. All right, so I'm going to use this PN pen. Because sometimes when you're drawing, if you're drawing something larger, it's helpful to have a thicker pen. So if I use my, my regular 01, it's like, that's going to just not look right. All right, so... Starting off with a shape. We're going to start with the square. And like I said, if you go to his links, and actually in my step outs, I'm using a, a pentagram, a five-sided shape, um, because it was helpful. But I'm like, for this, this is what we're going to do, because I think that this will help um, me be able to explain this tangle best um, for everyone. All right. So looking at your square, what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to extend each... Uh, side off to one side. I am going to go off to the left and whichever way you end up going just go consistently and that's probably a bit long but oh well. Um, so I, I've almost like it doubled and this is one of the, the the questions that I you know still have in my head is well how long do we make those lines? Well you can make them as long as as you want to. Uh, probably it's, it's easier to err on shorter because you could extend it um, but this is the way it is and that's okay. Now the next step is we're going to aura not only this line, so we're going to go under this line. So if you're looking looking at the tile, okay I have my square, we're going to aura the square as well as the extended line if that helps. And then it also you know say if so and if you're looking then then you can just watch and I'm going to try to make this, I want to make this big so it's easy to see. Okay, we had a challenge earlier with a, I don't even want to say which way so it doesn't confuse. But again, looking at looking at your at your square, we're auraing that line plus the extended line, and an auraing is just is like outlining, right? And then turning the tile, and I I have mine on the side so it's easier just to to draw a straight line this way. And then same idea, and then turn. Same idea, and I'm making these lines even because that seemed to be good. All right, so there we go, and that looks really neat. Now the next step is, and 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 for this, forgive me, I'm gonna I'm gonna use pencil to describe because uh, that seemed that seemed to help um, on the class I did. So 
the way I was terming this this tangle, if you're familiar with the tangle halibau, uh, halibau is a set of, of lines, and I don't have one here to show you. Um, it's a... It, it's like 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 if you were looking at a pile of boards, um, but we're drawing the boards, and then we have you know the white background that we then would shade in. This is almost like we're discovering halibau. It's like drawing it backwards, sort of, or like drawing the negative of it um, is the way in my mind I have it. So this next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna these actually um, you know what? Let me I'm gonna put. I'm just going to put a little orb in because I'm going to end up coloring it anyway. So this corner, so I'm calling this the corner because it's it's kind of tucked in. Um, this corner is what we're going to now shade in. The thing that I have realized with this tangle is we, you know, we kind of want to preserve this line as if it's coming out this way. So um, I would not normally do this on anything because... Uh, for Zentangle, we don't do pre-planning. We don't do use, you know, gr uh, graph paper or, you know, dot paper or anything. It's just this free flow of ideas. But I want to share this because once you get it, then you get it. But it, it, I have been finding it really, really hard to explain, except that this worked. So if I'm drawing, I, I'm going to draw a dotted line in the with the pencil through through this. This kind of actually demonstrates how the halibau technique works, because if I was drawing this, uh, the halibau technique would be I stop here, I pick up my pen, it travels across, I put the pen down here on the other side. So I just put a little dot there where it would be. Now what I'm going to do is I'm connecting this dot here, or this this line, to this. Now you can you can make it a little curved, you can, I'm going to, I'm just going to make it a, a straight line for now, Okay. And then I'm going to fill it in with my thicker pen. And I sure hope that that makes sense. And again, the, just for demonstration purposes, I just wanted to explain that with the dotted pencil line. Um, so that you know. Because, you know, again, we, you know, in our kits, we don't put erasers because we don't do that kind of planning. It's just, you know, pen and ink. But this way, you kind of get the idea. And, you know, if it's a little bit too to this side that's that's okay too i think what we don't want is to have it cover over into into this place where it would be you know in that path that's that's my thought on that anyway and then turn in the tile and again same thing and i'm just going to draw a straight line because after you you know that that's what you're doing then you don't have to uh um you don't have to really you, you just need to look oh okay it's about there and then that's good and then it's not uh, not labor intensive, if you will. And then gonna color these in. And I'm using this is a graphics one pen. It's kind of it's not exactly a brush pen. It, it's kind of in between a you know a hard nib pen and um, and actually you know what I can just do this with the with this. And like I said, I'm just doing a straight line. You could do a little curve line if you want. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. And then I would highly recommend if, you know, if you're really liking this, and I hope I hope that you are. My my aim, um, besides helping other people conquer art class, is to, um, you know, make sure that we're finding some enjoyment in these in these tangles and ones like this that are, you know, more on the difficult side. Um, just so that way we can enjoy them and you know and then the more this is one of those that the more you practice it I'm sure the better it'll be um, all right okay so I have all four of those now done now the second st the second thing because we're going to do another um, I was calling them bumps whatever you want to call them same thing but we're going to do this so looking at you know, at this line, so we have this corner filled in. This isn't a corner here, but we're going to do the same thing. Actually, let me do it here because I've already got that pencil line there. And so same idea. I'm doing a little pencil line here. And I'm going to go from this tip and this one. I'm, I'm kind of going to create sort of like a, a curved triangle. I think that pin is dying. And color that in. And I'm going from the tip wherever that tip is and this is where it's like you know it doesn't matter how long um it is if you, if you need to extend it because it was a little too short or you just feel like you need to then of course but so you get the idea so i'm just drawing this little bump again coming here so that way this path if i was to have drawn 
hollow bow out this way than you know than I can. And this comes, and then we're gonna do we're gonna continue this on all of these uh, these um, the other end of that we've already colored in for each of those lines. And like I said, after you you understand that, then it's a let, little bit easier to just do it and not feel like oh let me let me make sure I have that exactly right because this is entangle and. There are no such things as mistakes. Although sometimes with these with these more difficult tangles, it's like, well, uh, well, then you just turn it into something else, and that's okay. <laughs> and get that shaded in. All right. And so what's what's neat about this is so this kind of creates. Um, you know, a neat shape. It almost looks like a pinwheel behind. And uh, you can see how, you know, oh, this is coming out into the open. This is coming out into the open. Um, and let me share. Um, and I think I might do a couple of it. Let's see. We, this is, you know, I, well, I think I might have time to, to do just another part of this. So let me share your thing. So you could leave it like this if you want to. And you can say, okay, this is great. And I'm putting this in a section. Or, you know, you do some other tangles. Now, I did do this, you know, mammoth size. It would normally do this a lot smaller. Um, here are some other ones that um, had done earlier uh, with different shapes. So, you know, you know, triangle. Here's the little hexagon. Uh, even a circle. Uh, this is one you know I was where I was figuring out okay it does on on Thomas's uh, step outs he does have like some dotted lines and I did find that helpful so I wanted to share that uh, as well um, so you know putting them together is neat and then also you know kind of like this where you could kind of put them in a cluster and and where you say oh hey look at that hollow ball look at how that's uh, happening where's the one I did oh no that's because I did something else all right so that that's one way now let's see I Okay, time is good. I'm trying to, I do try to keep these short. And um, just because uh, that's why I'm calling it a quickie. So that is one thing. Let, and, and you know what? Let me, let me do this. So to add a little something extra to it, here is one thing that you could do. So I'm going to essentially or, but I'm going to or to the inside of here. And I'm coming from I'm right on this line. And I'm being very careful, and I'm coming up, and I'm going to come around this bump on the end, and then coming in, and then minding where I have that, using the hollow ball technique, where it's like, okay, there's the line of, I've kind of gone over it with my pen, just to kind of make sure that I'm uh, starting off sort of in the area where, as if I'm drawing underneath this this path here. And it, I find it helpful to have my pen travel around. And like I said, so I'm just I'm going around these outside bumps, stopping here at that because we're not going to collide here. We're not going to go over. And then going around here, and then and actually, you know, if you if you kind of do that slow enough, then it's like oh look at that lines right up. Now doing the other side. And similar idea, and I'm coming around on this one, and then I'm going to stop. Not going to collide here, but going to continue. And over like that. And then, okay, then I have to do this side. Usually I would have turned my tile a little bit, but I did not. And then here it is being kind of careful to line it up as best you can. And that just adds a neat something to this tangle. And and that's just cool. And so if you, you, you picture it smaller, then sometimes smaller looks neater. Um, but this is actually kind of neat because if you did it bigger, then you can do other things. You can use a white jelly roll and... You know, do something else on the inside of there. Uh, but that is, um, that's a nice start. So let me, that's way one. Now, let me do this here. And I'm going to I'm gonna do the square again just because uh, I'm a little bit better at doing squares than I am at uh, doing the, uh, 
uh, the five sided the pentagram and I want to do this quick and also I've done this a couple times with that shape and I want to see what it would look like with the square all right so colored in and again I am taking my lines off to the right And then continuing, you know, it actually makes me think of like a windmill, sort of. And this is a, a place too, you know, I mentioned course correction. So if, if, you know, if your lines aren't exactly right when we're doing this line or we're filling in things, uh, that's the opportunity that we have to, um, uh, to do that, that little course correction. Okay, so then I'm doing my aura-ing each side. All right, then we're going to fill in, and actually I'm going to make mine a little bit uh, smidge, like, curved out. Just because I think that that would look neat. And I do like to do these kind of in the steps uh, that, that I have them, just because then you don't get confused. I was for a little bit, um, you know, kind of doing this one and then coming to this to this side and drawing that and I'm like you know sometimes it's better just to stick with the step out and leave it at that okay and then here I'm gonna doing those those little bumps on the side and again um and if you take a look at uh, Thomas's work then um you can you can see uh, you know some of his shapes are you know they're more like a like a rounded triangle um and it's just, you know, gives you some other great ideas of things to try with this. All right. And all right. So now I have those. Okay. So what I think is a neat next step with this is to, okay. So on, I'm calling this, so this is the outside bumps. So this is that last step that we did from each of those kind of following whatever curve you have, just draw a curved line going out. Uh, in whatever that direction is. So I'm mine are going off to the left. Like that. And then, so so here's my curve. My curve is going up. So on the underside, so the same side that this bump is, we're going to just draw another one. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. And... Just drawing a little bump. Oop, and, and two, making sure to go to that end. And that's good. And there's no, you know, whatever size is good. Then, so we've kind of, we've done the curve this way. Now we're going to follow, follow this and do the curve the other way. And doing that with all of them. And then same thing on that underside. Going to just draw another little bump. And again, mine, you know, mine are taking the shape of kind of like um, triangle sort of. I'm trying to make them a little um, not so pointy. I actually start off a little bit pointy and then I'm trying to just round it a little bit at the at the tip. But again, it's on the underside. And same idea. So now, so we went this way. Now we're going to go this way. I thought this would, I would, uh, thought this would look really neat on a Zendala. So I'm glad I'm doing it on a Zendala. And that's what I'm using, by the way. Um, uh, so Zentangle has a number of sizes and shapes of, uh, of paper. So we have the traditional three and a half inch square tiles, the bijou tile, which is like two by two that I normally use. Um, this is a little, well, see, well, this is, here's the, here's the three and a half. So you can kind of see, um, it's, what would that be like a, maybe a four inch diameter and here too, if you if you think that you 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 need to add your make your curve a little bit bigger, again with that the fill in idea, you can stretch that a little bit and and uh, and no one will be the wiser. And let's see. So 
maybe another one. Oop, that was a little straight. <laughs> and let me do these little bumps here. And then, because as I was doing this, I was like, well, you know, how how would um, I kind of like it to stretch into these other areas? Oops, let me get this really quick. And I was like, hmm, how would I do that exactly? Well, the same way we just did this. So picking, okay, right here. So like when we did these, right, if I was doing this again, I would go off of this edge. Well, there's nothing to say that I can't take this edge right here and make another curved line. And so I can do that here. I can do that here. Oops, and right here. Same thing here. You know, I said, and then again on the underside, I want to make sure to get that little bit in there just so that way we don't lose anyone. Because I'm wanting to just jump ahead. Because it's like this, I'm really liking. I, you know, this then becomes the organic type of tile that I really, really love to do. Okay, so and then um, you can pick another place. So, like right here. Same idea. Oop. And then, you know, up to you if you want to do it in the consistent spot all the way around, like I'm doing. That's up entirely to you. But then you can just, you know, fill as much as you want by doing this. And I don't know if you can see it, but this is what, you know, to me, I mentioned earlier that it's kind of like drawing halibau in reverse, or um, I was also thinking of it as, um, you know, as if, uh, you know, there was sand and, um, or something and we've, you know, we've brushed it away. Oh, and look at the halibau pattern that's, that's, you know, coming to, to light, you know, from what we're brushing away. It's, it's just, it's appearing and it's just, really really neat and let's see oh where else did i do one here yeah so you just so you know one of those don't want to get too too far ahead because you want to always making these little bumps on the underside of the curve and um you know and then just having fun and then here again so if i want to come up oh i can come up here and and, and you know i don't you don't have to do it symmetrical either um if you don't want to this is where I, again, I have fun with the organicness and just the, well, where do I feel like I want it to go now? And to have a lot of fun with that. Now, um, wow, and funny, I think I did it all. Oh, look, I have a couple extra things. Okay, so let me find a place where I think I have stopped um, because I don't want this one to go, oh, it's not too bad in time. Okay, so just want to share and I'm not going to because I, I think I want to do some more but I do want to share this additional step with you um, if you want to aura it because um, oh, I'll just continue with the same pen um, because I think it looks really neat the way um, the way he's done this um, and this one yes if you, you want to take a look at his actually I did start it on a different one um, actually, you know what? Let me do that because I, I do kind of want to finish that and do some more on that. But let me, this is one I was doing earlier. And, um, and this one again, this was with, with the pentagram. And let me start over here. So in auraing this, it's, it's not the same kind of aura. So here's one I did earlier, earlier, earlier. And I, I aura the whole design. And, uh, you know, it's, it has a different look. We'll just say that. Um, but I did like how he, how Thomas or Tomas did his. And so this one, so I'm going to start here on this edge and I'm going to aura around here and I'm coming around the curve line and I'm stopping there. And then here I'm doing the same thing. I'm kind of going around those little bumps and around the curve line and I'm stopping there. It's not a complete um, a complete aura. And then this one, I'm starting here and then I'm going to go down into, down into here and stop there at that line. 
And then this, let's see. Nope. Not to doing that one because this one, because it seems like we're doing the, um, the round side of the curve or the, the curve going up, not the underside. Be consistent with my own terminology. <laughs> Where we're doing the over the uh, the upside, not the underside of the curve, and so like here, oring the little bump, and then oring that side of the curve. So we're not going into this side, and and I'm gonna guess yes, we would do this side because it is that. So like that. And I think that that, that, it, that adds to the halibau idea. And actually here, I'm going to think too. So I'm going to come up this side here. And aura that big bump right there. So I've kind of got like about half of that done. So uh, if that, that helps, just for some ideas on how you might want to finish it. I think it also looks really amazing just like this. And just leaving it like that. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to add some more. Um, but just... You know, again, it's a really, really neat tangle and a lot of options, a lot of shapes it can start with. So, um, so a lot of, a lot of fun to be had, but it's one of those that it does take a little bit more patience than the, you know, the average tangle. So beware of that. And, uh, if you decide to do it, I, I really hope that this has helped, uh, in doing this tangle to sew. And, um, I would love to hear your comments. And if you liked the video, if you didn't like the tangle, that's okay. Uh, but if you like the video, at least, <laughs> I would appreciate any thumbs up, um, uh, you know, under the video. Uh, also, if you if if you're enjoying the videos that I've been uh, putting out, um, would love to have you uh, subscribe to uh, the channel, which is just means that you get uh, notifications when whenever you go to YouTube, uh, it'll pop up under your subscriptions, so you can see you know what's kind of what's new, and it, it helps you keep track of the people that you like. Um, also, there's a, a little bell next to the subscribe, so that way it can alert you if uh, when uh, things come out, if you want to take it to that extra step. So. With that, um, also take a look at the description box for ways to connect. And um, with that, I, I hope you enjoyed this and I wish you lots of happy tangling. Thanks so much.